Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Man Show with me, your host Sean. Today, discussing a few things. There will be stocks, yes, but we will be discussing a few other things. I hope not to upset anyone, but we may well do. Uh, you may notice I've changed the format a bit. Let me know if you prefer it or <coughs> sorry, or if you prefer the old format. Now, to start with, we've got Clorox com Company. Now, it's had a great earnings and it's come at a pullback. Now, if you realise they're making a million wipes a day, that's a million minimum. Now, Clorox are kind of like Kleenex. People don't go, say, Can I have a tissue? They say, Can I have a Kleenex? And when it comes to disinfectants and that, they say, yeah, Any Clorox? No. This is a company that I spoke about when it was $460 a share. Argentinian e commerce company. And is. Uh, had good earnings and it's pulled back. You've got an upside on that, but you are in later again. And don't forget to hit that lovely like button, almost as lovely as me. Helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting the video out to more people. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Become part of the Saving Money Show family. We give each other hints and tips and updates about stocks and shares we uh, talk about on the show. As well as that, you can ask me to look into any share you want. And I don't charge a Discord fee or ask for a Patreon. All I do ask is for you to comment in the box below and hit the like button. Uh, even if you disagree with me, especially if you disagree with me, I like a debate. And if I do something wrong, I want you to call me on it so I can improve the channel. And why not check out the links in the description below? There's lots of others. I've used each one of them myself. I wouldn't give you links if I haven't checked them out myself. Uh, if you're looking for a free trading platform, check which should trade your stocks and shares. You know, you can get a free share worth up to £200 for signing up and depositing a small amount. A free trade only requires a £1 deposit. The others require £100 or dollars, depending on which one you go for. Stake has over 3,500 US stocks on their books, which is the biggest one outside of the US. Where it's trading 212. It's one of the best and easiest platforms to use. But as I said, I use all three. Anyway, on with the show. I spoke about Cheesecake Factory before. I think there is still an upside on it. And I think it's worth a look at if you haven't already. Now, Lemonade. If you remember, I said when it was... Uh, $90 a share was overpriced. I went through the app, I dissected it, I said there was mistakes there, and I said when it was $50 to $60 a share, it was it would be worth picking some up. They've announced that they're looking to go into pet insurance. Now, I would think that I'd show you up $15, wouldn't you? But they have to complete. Problem is, this is a momentum stock. You know, built on innovation and momentum. I don't usually go for IPOs. I usually wait six months after the IPO. But where it's already dropped and rebounding, that's why I picked up five shares when it was uh, $56. 
Nah, I'm not going to add any more. Just going to leave my five shares there. If it does anything great if it doesn't. It's only five shares. No. Fizz. Fizzy get dizzy. I said when it was $50 a share, uh, it was worth going into. It's had a pullback. People are asking me why. I can't see why. I think it's more people taking profits. And to tell the truth, I think it's worth going entering at this price. If you haven't already. No. Now for the less sexy ones. TJ Maxx. No. There's. You'll find a decline. And. Well there will be a decline. There will be a decline in earnings. And uh, Yahoo Finance hasn't updated it yet. You'll find on Monday a decline, and I think late Monday, early Tuesday, be worth picking up because every reaction is an overreaction. And I went to my local TJ Maxx, and people were queuing out the door. They've been putting a lot of initiatives, even Zach's when it knew. There's going to be a decline, said hold the shares, because I think they will come back stronger. And something else, DuPont. No, it's not a sexy one, I know, but, and it had bad earnings, but they had a merger from one of their subsidiaries recently, and they gained $7 billion from that merger. Now that's seven billion dollars. If you look at it, that if you look at the financials, they're using five billion of it to pay off long-term debt. And now, thing is, that is going to wipe out a lot of their debt, and that is going to bring down their interest payments so much. It's like, say for instance, Ford. If they used the money to pay some of their debt off, Ford, I think, had done the right thing. But if they had instead used the money to pay off, they had to pay off some of their debt, they would have brought down the interest payments so much. They'd gone from junk status to a different status, which is better interest rate. However, that means the total liability is going to be twenty-two billion, compared to assets of six over sixty-nine billion. And with the other two billion, they have said are going to be strategic purposes. Now, you know what that screams to me share buyback even if it's not a share buyback then it's going to be an acquisition now the book value per share is $50 43 cents sitting at $58.16 if we have a pullback on Monday you'll be buying it at or below book value even if we don't I think it's worth picking up now Penn National Gaming Penn National Gaming, I've spoke about this before, the run-up, and think about it, DraftKings had terrible earnings, but this one is covering the brick and mortar and the online sector, and it's outpaced the others. No. And it's best as it's as going to be bar stalls have an agreement where they can buy up the rest of it now the other thing 
if you've been with me since the beginning, you'll have you remember someone asked me if Kramer was watching me, uh, following me because a week after I would say go into a company, Kramer would say buy this company, and I said no. Kramer says buy everything. There's only one or two companies he sells. Anyway, now someone has said about. Uh, Warren Buffy, and no, he's not following me, I wish he was, but because when I did my bank's review, Bank of America came out, and of course he bought Bank of America, he's dumped his Goldman Sachs, he's dumped a lot of shares in JP Morgan, he still has over $2 billion worth of JP Morgan, bear that in mind, he went into Kroger, now I also said Kroger, um, I have sold out of most of my Kroger position because I needed the money for elsewhere, but the main one is he's recently gone into Barrick Gold and And the thing is, he's uh, of course he he picked up twenty one million shares of it. Me, I picked up ten to twenty shares. I've never known him to pick up gold before, because he's seen it as a dead weight and a hedge against the market crashing but I said in the video previously how the I said in the video previously how uh, his indicator is flashing but and I said the reasons why how it's sort of a false flash but it's just confirming to us that these stocks are good ones to go into when the best investor in the world is going into them anyway don't forget to leave a comment in the box below don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to let me know if you prefer the format and i'll see you in the next video remember stay safe stay savvy stay investing goodbye